is Kevin Mayo, and today we're drinking Broadbrook Brewing Magoo's Robust Porter, aged in Buffalo Trace barrels. Our version of the English Robust Porter has a medium body with a complex, creamy, rich malt profile with notes of raisin, licorice, and toffee. We've aged this beer in select bourbon barrels for seven months, several months to enhance the bourbon, to enhance the flavors, and add a warm and a bourbon finish that's topped off with a tan head. This is bottle number nine out of 120 they released. Two Saturdays ago, I had to stand out in the cold to get this bottle, and it was such a good deal, I went and got my wife and came back and got another bottle, but we already drank that one on Christmas Day. I've had the Robust Porter before. I think it's one of Connecticut's great beers, and the bourbon barrel aging really helps smooth it out and mellow it out. It is 6.5% ABV, and let's go ahead and give it a crack and see what we got. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And go ahead and leave comments, because we love talking about beer. I have to admit, I've had this a couple of times already. Like I said, I bought two bottles. I drank one already. I had some the day we picked it up. They had it on draft. I had some last weekend. They had it on draft. So I have had this before. I know it's a fantastic beer, but we're going to go ahead and go through it and talk about it and go through it and reminisce on it and expound on it and look at it and all that fun shit. And I can't see a thing through this. It's perfectly dark and we got a rather dark brown head on top of it, nice tight bubbles. I am smelling the bourbon coming up off of it. Bourbon, vanilla, a little bit of milk chocolate, coffee, dark cherry, and a hint of smoke. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Now the bourbon is more subdued in the flavor, I think, than the aroma. But you do get the bourbon up front, and it's rather sweet. I find the bourbon in this one rather sweet. Uh, the Buffalo Choice Barrels impart a sweet uh, bourbon flavor to it. Get that dark cherry in there. A hint of vanilla. You get a little bit of almost from the, and it's got to be coming from the bourbon, because it's only 6.5%, but you almost get a hint of alcohol warming, too. So... Got a little bit of that dark smoke in there. Very, very smooth. Got a nice malt feel. Not as creamy as some other Imperials that I've had, but this is not an Imperial. It's just a robust porter. But a very nice, smooth mouth feel. So it's well rounded, nice mouth feel. Lots of great flavors. We got the vanilla, we got the dark cherry, we got the bourbon. We got, I haven't even mentioned it. We got a little dark coffee, a little milk chocolate in there. Just a phenomenal beer. I just was, um, I think, and I love, like I said, I think the Magoo's Robust Port is one of Connecticut's great beers. I think this makes it better. I think this is really, this is an A-plus beer. I give out very few of these, but this is a 98 out of 100. Till next time. Keep drinking.